Not interested in hanging out with the other kids? Snacks not to your taste? Hot spring temperature too high? None of the above, huh? I heard you were the one who cleansed the abyssal power yesterday. You sensed it, didn't you? <sighs> I was hoping to keep it a secret for a few more days. Didn't want to ruin the celebrations and all. <sighs> but looks like it was no use. Hey, kid! Who, me? Yes, you. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Hey, uh, where are you going? Did something happen? Just going to get some air. It's too noisy in here. You have fun. We'll be right back. Oh, and there are extra snacks in that box over there if they need replenishing. Bake them all fresh this morning. All right. Sounds great. Mualani. Yeah? <laughs> You've gotten so tall. You know that. Feels like just yesterday you were that rambunctious kid causing trouble all around the hot springs. <laughs> ah, it's like all that time passed in the blink of an eye. Tell me, how are your parents? They're away on business. Seriously, Ateo, what's going on? You're acting strange. Traveler, did something happen? Both of you seem a little off today. <sighs> I guess I should explain. I wasn't visiting the hot springs because I was getting better. And that pylon yesterday, I didn't go face it by myself because I was reckless or too anxious to wait for reinforcements. It's because my body isn't going to last much longer. Your friend saved my life in that cave. And because of that, I got to enjoy this celebration with you all. But I'm just a few days shy of the end. The hot springs... I'm just trying to enjoy them for as long as I have left. Oh. Mualani? That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. That's what you said back at the artificial spring. I... I had a bad feeling then, but I didn't want it to be true. I... wanted to believe you were actually recovering. You want to know something? Recovery, death, to me, the two aren't all that different. Both are worth celebrating. <laughs> You've never been resurrected, so you might not understand. But death and I? We're old pals by now. There's nothing sad about being reunited with an old friend. <sighs> I lived with regret for a long time. Regret that my illness meant I could no longer take to the front lines, especially as our nation slid deeper into crisis. But yesterday, I was finally able to let go of that regret. Not only because I found the strength to fight the abyss, even at the end of my life, but because I got to see you in action, Mualani. Seeing you out there... <laughs> It made me realize that I don't need to worry about our tribe or our nation's future. You have the capacity to bring us all together. Even if I was never injured, old age would still take me one day. <sighs> but I've done what I needed to do. The future is in your hands now. Just remember, whether in life or death, I am always with you. I understand. Seems like you've given this a lot of thought, Atea. Thank you for telling me all this. I'll do everything in my power to protect our tribe, our nation, and live up to the example you set for me. Good. Oh, and if any of you have the chance to meet with the Archon, could you give this to her for me? A talisman I've carried with me my whole life. It may seem strange to say while I'm still alive, but just think of it as a relic I'm leaving for her. It's brought me good fortune in battle. Even after I became too sick to fight, I never took it off. Just tell her 
It embodies fond memories and my strength of will. <laughs> She'll know what I'm trying to say. Don't worry. We'll make sure she gets it. <sighs> all right. That's all I wanted to say. Let's head back to the party. No use spending what little time I have left being sad. Me, what did I say about bathing in the hot springs on a full stomach? Uh, hey, are you listening to me? Life is a journey in which there's no turning back. So forge ahead and don't hold back. <laughs> 